Clyde Butcher's visionary genius has given the wilderness a voice, a voice that sometimes beckons, sometimes soothes, and sometimes shouts with all the glorious power of our earth. Clyde Butcher is not only a talented artist, but an advocate of the environment. He's an inspiring educator who teaches us not to only look, but to love. One of the main reasons I started in my black and white photography is when my son was killed in an automobile accident. And I went to Big Cypress to kind of restore my soul. And one of my first pictures I took is called Ochapi. It was taken over this great uh, prairie with cabbage palms and great thundering sky. I didn't realize at the time the whole foreground was cattails. <laughs> I thought it was sawgrass. The photograph became an emblem of Big Cypress. But the butcher's surprise it also contained some important clues about the ecosystem, about what's right with it, as well as what's wrong. There was one point where I said to myself, maybe I shouldn't be showing this because it's all from the cattails. Then I said, well, maybe it's important to show it. The cattails are a necessary part of the Everglades. They just aren't necessary in large quantities. When you see a large quantity, you know man's been messing around. When I'm creating a photograph, I think it's important to create a space so a person can feel like they're there. If you don't have that space, they don't have a connection. And that's what I'm trying to do is connect people with the Everglades, Big Cypress, Fakahatchee, Corkscrew, all these different places. If they can't feel the connection, how are they gonna feel it's important? I like to tell people that um, the world's round. Everything we do, everything everybody else does comes around. We don't act conscientiously to do the right thing. Why are other countries gonna do the right thing? The question is, can we learn to work together for the greater good? Can we learn to live with our environment? Will my grandchildren be able to experience these great landscapes? The answer is in me and you.